Ah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all my smooth smokers out there. We back with another one. And uh, another pre-roll joint, you know what I'm saying? It's more like a, like a blunt. We have Packwoods collabing with Mile High Cure with the Georgia Pie. Mm, nice. And you guys know how I feel about packaging. This right here, this is this is very nice, extremely nice. You got your QR scam, you know, back here in the back. Got a little Snapchat scan. You can pull them guys up, follow them. They have an Instagram, I know, MileHowCure, at MileHowCure. And uh, Packwoods, man, they uh, they impressed me, though. I had I got the uh, the collab they did with, with Cookies and the, the Gary Payton. And, uh, yeah, man, they just... Everything about this shit is dope. Excuse my language. But, uh, you see? See how they got it? And this one right here is one of the ones that's in Keith with the glass, with the glass, uh, filter on it. Man. Everything about this is beautiful. Sorry, I can't see that too good. And that's a glass filter where my fingers are. Smells pretty cool. Georgia Pie. So being from Georgia, you hear a product called Georgia Pie, you automatically think it's either going to be something like a, like a peach cobbler or a pecan pie. And uh, I'm guessing from the picture on this right here, it's supposed to be peach. So we're looking at peaches. Uh, we go to All Bud. All Bud and Leafly give you a little information on the strain itself saying Georgia Pie. This is from All Bud. Georgia Pie is a slightly indica dominant hybrid created through crossing the infamous Gelati and Cushman strains. Mm, nice, nice. And it was created by Seed Junkie Genetics. Okay, Seed Junkie Genetics, we appreciate y'all. Good looking out. Um, let's see, says it. It tastes like peaches with a a, a hint of sweet, fruity smell of rich cherries and nutty dough. Hmm. Ain't that some shit. So, let's go over to Leafly. See what they got to say. Georgia Pie is a potent hybrid marijuana strain bred by Seed Junkies Genetics. Um, This strain has a is known for having a delicious aroma that smells and tastes just like peach cobbler. Lord have mercy. We about to get into this one. Um, Maha Cure. Maha Cure. They, with the name Mile High, sound like they from Colorado, but I believe they're actually a California CBD company. Um, I looked them up a little bit on their, on their website, and... They look very legit. Very, very nice little company they got over there. Um, I haven't had any of their CBD products. This is actually, purchasing this product introduced me to my high cure. So, um, Packwoods, I appreciate y'all for that, introducing me to them. Looking into them, they, they seem like a, like a real interesting uh, company, my high cure. Holla at me. I'd like to I'd like to work with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. But uh anyway, let's see if I can find my lighter, man. We can get on into this guy. Mm, mm, mm. So I haven't experienced this before with any other ones, but this one right here, you see how it's kind of open right there. So every time I turn it over, it looks like we leaking a little bit of uh a little bud that's my first time experiencing that but it's all good i ain't gonna trip you know what i'm saying no no knocks for that Man. they got they they their packaging is like novelties dog like you want to save this shit ah let's see cheers We probably won't probably won't smoke this whole thing with you guys on there because it's supposedly 
like two and a half grams or 2.25, two and a quarter, something like that. So we're going to see how it go. I know I got a little bit of work to do. I probably need to get on up out of this thing, but I ain't want to smoke this without giving you guys a little a little idea of what it's like. So So I don't want to be corny, right? But it does have like a it does have like a dough taste, you know what I'm saying? I I can see where they got the the nutty dough taste from. And it and it to, to a certain extent, it does smell kind of sweet. Compared to, I did a review on uh, Puro Canagar's Green Crack. I did a review on them. And in comparison to them, to, to them Green Crack joints, this does smell sweet. So, I will give it that. Somebody said it tastes like cherries. They said it for him to say it tastes like cherries, and then to have like they have like little cherries on the on the piece of pie on their packaging. I don't you know. I don't want to just be one to be going with the flow. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like cherries, but it tastes like something sweet. It's got it's got something sweet in them. George Pie. And I don't know if I, you know, if I'm all into the hype with the glass filters. That's the one from the Gary Payton right here. I went ahead and took it apart. Now, I don't know if I'm, you know, all into the hype because I don't know how much these guys cost in the store. But I'm, I'm guessing they're probably like, this guy's probably like 2 to $3 for one. Four or five, I don't know. But for that, I don't know if it's worth it. But they do provide you with a smooth hit every time every time they provide you with I haven't had one with a glass filter that you know wasn't smooth This one doesn't have, so it don't have all of the, uh, like the ingredients on there. Not on this one. It just has the warning label, all natural hemp, de de hemp derived product. Uh, let's see. Contains less than 0.3% of Delta 9 THC on a dry weight basis. Pretty much what they all say. So supposedly this gives you like a like a, a calming, relaxing high. Kind of giggly. I can see it. I can see it. I can I can feel the mellow. For those of y'all wondering about Delta Eight, man, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Nah, it's not gonna get you high like regular bud, regular marijuana. It's not, no. But well, I ain't gonna say that. It's the the potency. It's not as strong as Delta Nine THC, but it does get you high, and it only lasts for about, in my opinion, it lasts like 
25 minutes. I ain't even gonna give it the full half hour. It lasts like 25 minutes. But it's a decent, it's a decent high. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, if you can't get to what you're looking for right away, this right here, this right here sets you straight. Until you get into where you need to go. Pack Woods, Mile High Cure, Smooth Stamp, Smooth Stamp. If y'all come across the Mile High Cure, Pack Woods collab, Georgia Pie, it won't disappoint. It won't disappoint. If you come across the cookies and the Gary Payton too, that one won't disappoint. You know, you guys can, maybe I'll get another one and I'll review that one, but you guys can look up your own info on the, uh, on the Gary Payton strain, but I believe it was made by cookies, cookies and powers genetics. I believe they collabed and made that, but I know cookies, cookies gets a lot of the credit for that Gary Payton. Yeah. Young, young, young Peyton. And I'm guessing this is like a, like a hemp wrap. I believe that's like a hemp wrap that it's in. Rolled in Keith with the customized glass filter in that guy. I ain't mad at him. Cobbler. Yeah, I really don't taste. I don't taste too much of the peach cobbler. They should. They could have called it pie crust. <laughs> uh, I always tell when a nigga start getting faded. Start saying dumb shit and laughing at it. God damn. George Pa. I think, I think Georgia Pie Gummies would be interesting. What y'all think? Georgia Pie Gummies? So, <clears throat> Mile High, holla at me. Let's come up with these Georgia Pie Gummies, man. Let's see what it do. I feel faded. I feel faded. This right here has me curious. It has me interested to try the real Georgia pie. On all buds. On all buds, which I'm not sure why. Since it was made, it was created in California. But it says that it's hard to find outside of the Colorado area. I'm not sure why. But hey.
they also said that this strain was um, popular amongst medical patients. That it's popular for treating chronic stress, depression, appetite loss, nausea, and insomnia. Hmm, I can see that. Super high THC levels. It's like 27%. That's a lot for some bud. Yeah. This one gets the smooth stamp, guys. Georgia Pie. Mile High. Cure with the Pack Woods. Go check them out. Wow. If you're still here with me, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all's support, man. Until next time.